Chamath last year, um, you know, in his biohacking series, told us all to get pre nouveau scans, which I did, which is interesting. And I think, I don't know, Chamath, maybe 10 people have, have sent you notes and said, hey, you helped me discover a, a tumor. You know, really amazing. Well, Crazy. so this year, and I did that. Um, you know, this year you've been talking a lot about heart flow. So I said to my general practitioner at my ch annual checkup, hey, I want to do this heart flow. And she said, oh, you don't need to do a heart flow. Your LDLs, all your stuff looks really Wait, wait, ready. wait, 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 wait. You have a female GP? <laughs> uh, she's fantastic. Fantastic. Stanford educated, who, really terrific. Sorry, who does, I don't care where she went. To, but who does the prostate test? <laughs> he does? Hey, li listen, it's it, you know, some perks that come Check along the with PSA the female is GP. I'm, 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 I mean, no, but seriously, you have it. Really? I do. I do. That's a level of intimacy I didn't expect from you. Wow. <laughs> and so, you know, but what I found interesting is when I suggested I get the heart flow, she said, oh, you don't need it, et cetera. Your LDLs are low. You're, you're very fit. And she said, but on second, you know, maybe you could go get this calcium score test, right? Um, I didn't know anything about this, but, I, you know, I did a little quick research. And it turns out a big JAMA study in 2017, over 50% of men and women over the age of 40 carry plaque. Plaque's the number one killer. It's a source of heart uh, disease and, and heart attacks. And as Chamas has been talking about, there's, you know, a... a prophylactic called statin, which is basically like a supplement, very little downside, no long-term downside effects, but it immediately starts cutting down the amount of fatty cells and, and, and plaque that's carried in your blood. So I thought it was interesting. I went and I had Chamath, uh, as you know, the cor the coronary calcium scan, it takes five minutes. It costs between a hundred and four hundred dollars. The fact that we don't have every person taking this over 40 is crazy and frontline doctors should all be prescribing it, but it, particularly if there's family history. Sorry, but did you also do a contrast CT with heart flow? Yeah, or? so I, I started with the calcium score, 150 yeah. bucks over at Stanford, took five minutes. And, you know, it told me, uh, you know, which wasn't terribly surprising, I was one of the 50% that did carry some level of calcium. So it was called a non-zero score. And then what they suggest is because you have a non-zero score, you get this, you, you know, Chamath, you told me, go do the contrast CT, which then will image what this looks like actually in your arteries. So this past week in Boston, I did the contrast CT. Again, this took 10 minutes, non-invasive, like, uh, you know, it just, they run you into a tube. Well, no, and, invasive because you have to put the dye. In your oh, so, so they put, they yes, yeah, so, the, so, so a tiny bit, I, I suppose, they, they shoot a little dye into you, but, you know, um, uh, it didn't feel like anything. I was in and out of the of the place in 40 minutes. And what it found is, you know, fortunately that very little of this calcium had turned into what they call stenosis, any narrowing of, of the arteries, okay? But then it gave you just a very clear picture that if you are one of the 50% who carry plaque over the age of 40, you should be on a prophylactic statin. So as Chamath knows, I signed up to 10 milligrams of Crestar which I'm taking daily has had zero, you know, zero adverse consequences. And in two or three months, they'll test the amount of, you know, we'll revisit this calcium score. Um, but when I talked to the head of cardiology, what was so interesting, he said, every one of his friends over the age of 40, he has them do this calcium coronary scan. It's so cheap. And if they're zero on their calcium reading, then that's the end of the line. But if they have a non-zero reading, then he'll do the the CT coronary scan, which is again, very cheap, um, more expensive than the calcium test, but very cheap. And when you think about the cost of the patients in this country, right, in our healthcare system due to heart disease, and when you think about the needless lives cut short, I was shocked how easy all of this was and how empowered I feel by the data and how fortunate I feel that I'm actually taking a supplement. I call it a supplement instead of statins because I think statin has some spooky name. It sounds to me like a better supplement than any vitamins I can take. And, you know, it's reducing the LDLs or these fatties in your, you know, in your blood. And I'll keep you posted, but I was very grateful. And, you know, as you know, I posted it in our thread. And I think all the besties, you know, we saw responses out of a bunch of folks in the thread this week are going to go get their calcium, uh, you know, coronary scan. And I, I, I think it should be common sense on the front lines for people over 40, particularly if there's any family history, go get this calcium test done this summer while you have a little extra time. There you have it, folks.
100 to 400 dollars could save your life calcium coronary scan brad gerstner thanks so much for science corner this week 